admiring the house, Paul? I, well, no and yes, because it's going to come down. We bought this house as is because all the value is really in the land, but it also means that now we own a bunch of random stuff. It's probably Whoa. creepy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's full wow. of stuff. This is a food scale. Is that food or marijuana? <laughs> I got excited because I found tile. There's extra tile. <laughs> you want to use that in this house? No, we're not going to use it. You know what this thing would be good for? In the winter, you put salt in this thing and walk around outside. There you go. Oh my God. Even look when you walk in, you're like literally walking into the stairs. This room is small. This is like the main living room. We own this now, Paul. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's just like spin stuff. Think I could spin on it? Oh, we might need to bring this home. Are you gonna spin me? Or? I mean, I'm trying to spin you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't, just don't fall on me. <laughs> Get dizzy. Come on, try to stand up and walk. <laughs> All right, now try to walk. <laughs> huh? um, I can go. It's so big in here that you can hula hoop in the kitchen now. Ew, I think it's wet. There's a lot of toothpicks here. Susan, you need some noodles? What is up? Don't be picky, they're good. Thank you. There's only one thing left to do. Crush the house. That's it. Crush it. Build a new one. That's it. The next generation house will come in and smell better. It's like flipping a coin. We're super excited because this project is finally done. The house is finished and we can't wait to walk through and show you all the details. This is the most exciting part when it's actually done. Right, we don't have to do anything anymore. Yeah, so Susan, tell me about this house. All right, Paul, let me tell you about this house. Okay. We're in the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen, Paul. It's a beautiful kitchen, by the way. So in this kitchen, we did a little bit more of an earthy color palette, a lot of neutrals, woods. So the cabinets are a warm grayish color, very neutral very subtle and then we blended that with some wood we did a wood island there's a lot of warm tones in the countertop as well and then we also brought that through the tile so the main tile is a vertical stack subway tile and it's a mix of matte and glossy tile so we alternated that just to give it a little bit of texture because it is an off-white and we don't want it to feel too flat or too boring. And then behind the stove, we did a fun pattern. These tiles are from Fire Clay Tile. It just adds a little bit of fun to the kitchen. And the color in this tile, it's neutral, like the backsplash, and it also picks up the color in the cabinets. So you said it has off-white? Yes. Do they make a color called on-white? They do. Interesting. I didn't know that. You should go find it. I'll be back. Okay. The nice thing about this house is the floor plan, the way it opens up right into the family room. We really wanted this room to be the first thing when you walk into the house to make a big impact. So we did the entire wall with built-in cabinetry. We brought the wood tones back in here. We carried the mantle across the whole wall. And then we also did the same oak beams in the ceiling. So when you come in here, you see the neutral colors, the wood stain. It's a lot of color, but it's also very neutral and calming. This floor plan was designed so that everything just kind of flows into each other. It's right open to the kitchen. You've got the island right here, the dining room. So it's very comfortable if you have a lot of people. It's also very comfortable just for every day. And it's a nice way to kind of keep everybody together, keep all the spaces together while having everything kind of separate. And 
yeah. when you're sitting at the island here, if you happen to look up. You can see my art up there. <laughs> so these are panels that Paul made. I love putting in extra detail wherever I can. So I love that Paul can use his CNC machine to make things like these panels because sometimes I come up with these crazy patterns that I want and they're just in my brain and they don't actually exist in real life and Paul can make them exist in real life. So we've got a little walk-in pantry here. I love my pantries. I love having extra cabinetry, an extra sink, and just as much in here as you can because nobody wants stuff in their counters. This is where you hide all of that stuff. This is not trick photography. I just want you guys to understand. This is the same fridge that's on the kitchen, but not the same fridge. So when we do our floor plans, a lot of times we don't do a formal dining room because a lot of times we hear that it's kind of a wasted room. People don't want it. So we typically have an open dining room right next to the kitchen. So we did a little bit of extra mill work on this wall just to give it some detail, give it kind of that dining room feel. And we have a nice 10 foot slider right off the dining room so you get a ton of light coming in here. It's just a nice open space. Open space. It's an open space, it's I'd open. say. <laughs> Not an open space, but the question is, do you see yourself eating here? So one of the favorite rooms is the mud room. This is not a big room, but this has a lot of detail. Yeah, there's a lot packed in here. So we brought the wood tones back in here again. We mixed the stained wood with the green. We've got the same pattern on the panels as we do in the light box above the island in the kitchen. And then we just have a ton of storage. We did cubbies on top, open shelving, extra hooks on this wall. We even did a little expo board. This ranks as one of my favorite spots in this house so far. So far. So far. Welcome to Masterpiece Theater. This room is one of the first rooms when you come into the main entrance of the house on the right. I mean, you could use it as a sitting room, which is how it's staged right now. You could use it as a dining room if you want to. You if could you want use a it as a formal an dining room. Yeah, this is a great spot. I mean, this has it all. One of the things I wanted was when you first walked into the house to get a feel for the color palette. So you have the warm wood tones on the floor throughout the entire house but I wanted the green to be something that you see first. So this is one of the first walls that you see when you walk into the front door. Everything kind of starts here when you walk in. So one thing a lot of people want is an office on a first floor, so that's what we gave them. This room is fun. We did a fun ceiling in here. We did this accent wall, just because I always think about the video conferencing, it's always nice to have a nice background. And then we did a little built-in nook that you can put a printer on, there's some storage, there's a bookcase, so. You enjoying the office? Yeah, I'm just checking this thing out. It's okay. like a, you know, comfortable. Didn't know I could spin a globe in my finger, did you? Good office, definitely. X marks the spot, yeah. you know? I've probably used that joke like a hundred times. You keep using it, keep it. It's still funny, I it's, laugh. It's not really funny. I mean, it's yeah. funny the first time, but I, then I when people hear you say it over and over again, you're yeah. just like, eh, okay, it's done. I've heard him say that. The laundry room. With Paul's CNC machine, he made this cute door design. I just thought it was cute. It's nice to have these little touches, especially in a new house. This cabinets. Trash. You need trash. You get your own sink, but I really like all the space in this laundry room. We're just waiting for that load. One minute left. Let's go. Let's go. And just be like, you can run up the stairs. I think this is my cue to leave. So much to do. So in the primary bedroom, there's a lot of fun things in here. We're going to start in the bathroom. We have a soaking tub with a floor-mounted faucet. We have a huge walk-in shower with a ton of shower heads. We've got a rain head, we've got a handheld, we've got a regular shower head. And then we did a built-in towel nook for storage behind the tub. We brought the wood in with the double vanity. We did wood tone with black fixtures. And then we also have a separate water closet, Paul's home office. You know, you need to be able to shut people out if you're doing important business. So not only do we have this nice bathroom, we have this huge closet, but we also have this bedroom, which is really nice size. It's a big bedroom. It's big. It's, it's very big. big. It's so big, it fits a dry bar. 
So we did a dry bar with a little fridge. We put the beams on the ceiling. And I really like the way the beams look in here. I think it's really pretty. And then we also have the sitting area, which is really nice. There's a lot of windows, a lot of natural light. That is one thing I really like about this house is that the light is so nice coming in. When we do get the opportunity to take an existing property that wasn't worth saving or wasn't able to save it, we're able to redevelop it into our own creation. For us, it's an opportunity to create something. For me, it's kind of like a blank canvas. So I love just taking a property and saying, okay, what is this going to become? Even though we don't have a client, even though there's no one here in particular, I'm always thinking about the person who's going to live in this house and making it special for them and making it unique. And that's why I love just going through and creating those little details and just making it something special. We always ask ourselves, would we move into that house? And the answer is always yes.